I am here at Rio City enjoying the posters and stuff that they've done for the Batman. The Robert Patterson Detective Comics movie. How you guys doing? Thanks for watching this video. I am here at Regal Cinema 20 in Orlando, Florida at Point Orlando. And I am going to see the Batman. Now since Straw Hat Goofy who's on TikTok and Soup something is on TikTok that uh, has already spoiled the movie. And it is about five days after the movie has come out that I'm doing my review. So I finally got a chance to uh, get out, on my day off go see the movie now <clears throat> according to the spoilers and everything that it's a detective movie so I was looking at a lot of the posters that you see uh, actually you'll see right after my little intro here of uh, why didn't they just call it Batman or detective comics or uh, the great De Batman the great detective or something towards that effect. I mean, why the Batman? I mean, I don't know. Because uh, even Christopher Nolan's was uh, The Dark Knight. I mean, it really didn't have Batman in it. But uh, you knew it was a Batman movie. But um, I'm about to go in and go see it at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So, uh, just watch the uh, the little posters that I see in here at Regal Cinema, and also uh, the 40x movie trailer, and they have a little TV screen uh, that kind of shows you what goes on. And I'll be right back uh, after the 40x movie review. I'm uh, sorry, 40x little video, and uh, do my movie review of uh, the Batman with Robert Patterson. Uh, see you in a few.
cinema experience. For DX. Hey guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the movie posters and the uh, 4D uh, experience, then also the 4D trailer. Uh, if you come to Regal Cinema 20, I'm not sponsored by them, I just love seeing movies here. Uh, and I would love to be sponsored maybe one day. Um, but I always see one of their high budget movies or uh, stuff that I think would be great in the 4DX theater. Uh, like it shows in a trailer that there is water effects, fog effects, lightning effects, um, all types of all types of uh, special effects. Uh, in this movie, you do get rained on a lot, just like uh, Aquaman in the Lost City or Lost Kingdom, I think it is called. Uh, they also did uh, beginning trailer. Uh, all the DC stuff that's coming uh, Black Adam, Flash, Aquaman, and the Batman. But uh, I will definitely tell you that the people were not expecting some of the uh, effects. Uh, one person asked, Do you really think we can survive three hours of the uh, motion and the effects? And uh, it was just funny. Uh, everybody enjoyed the movie. It is a Detective Comics movie. It is not the Batman. Even though Robert Patterson is, looks really funky wearing the Batman costume. Um, he does pull it off. Uh, he doesn't have his growl in his voice like he should really for Batman or a voice changer like Batman does in the comics or any other of the movies. Uh, him as Bruce Wayne, I can't see him. The fight scenes of everything definitely uh, was excellent. I mean it was aggressive, it was like him being like he he says in the movie several times I'm vengeance um, but it, I mean you could it does drag out in certain points uh, the trailers kind of speak for itself um, it's a detective movie the only gripe that I do have is that he had to be told the solution uh, at least in my view of the movie was how you didn't determine anything it was explained to you of what was going on um, there is no mid credit scene there is an after credit scene of, of Riddler saying goodbye so don't bother waiting uh, it just has a Riddler symbol and uh, types out goodbye um, so don't waste your time the movie does drag out in certain points uh, the girl who is playing Catwoman uh, is never mentioned her name really uh, except for Selena Kyle but I think this is gonna just be a shorter movie review than I'm used to um, just because it was I mean it was excellent in the 40X movie theater. Uh, Regal Cinema does have reclining seats and tray tables. Um, friendly staff, very comfortable atmosphere here at Regal Cinema at Point Orlando. Um, but I definitely probably would see it again. I would buy it on DVD and uh, or Blu-ray. And I definitely probably would see it in the theater uh, it's just that I'm a heavy, a little bigger guy, and I didn't realize I gained so much weight. Uh, but the 4DX Theater does throw you for a loop uh, with the ride of the show, a ride of the movie. Um, there is several plot holes in the movie, but I'm really not going to get too much into it. It is worth seeing the big budget movie. 
Uh, they did spend a lot of money on it and it is worth seeing. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's not the greatest Batman movie, but every Batman movie that I've seen from the original Michael Keaton in 1989, the Batman sequel, uh, the return, uh, Batman Returns, uh, that's like one universe type movie. The Justice League, uh, Batfleck, that's a different universe. Uh, somebody in the comments of uh, another video I was watching is, oh, that they're pissed off that most of the cast is African American. Uh, if the Flash movie, the trailer shows that they're, he's going into an alternate timeline or the multiverse, then you'd have to consider all the Batman and even somewhat, people say the worst because of the bat nipples and the, the booty uh, is uh, George Clooney's Batman um, and Batgirl being kind of a dunce uh, not, my, not my words uh, other people have said it uh, so uh, but it's just everybody has to since everybody is and their brother it seems like uh, Marvel now DC's opening up the multiverse that uh, that's what you have to kind of see with this movie is that they're doing a multiverse thing uh, I wish they would have done flash because then everybody would realize that it uh, is a multiverse movie but actually the original Batman TV show they actually had an African American girl as Catwoman so but I'm um, not really going to say too much about the movie because it is worth a watch. It is, like I said, a little slow. It is a three-hour movie, uh, two hours and 56 minutes. And uh, it is worth a watch. Um, I give it a five stars, even though it did have some drag scenes. Um, and even that the solution to Batman was given to him. Uh, they are going to try to do Robert Patterson. I think they've already said that they're already doing a sequel. And I'm uh, not going to say too much on that. Uh, people have already spoiled it. But uh, I definitely see it again. Uh, I just won't see it in 4DX because it was. Uh, the one question I do have to ha ask is what the hell is with um, all the bat vehicles have to have jet engines? Um, even Robert Patterson's Batmobile, which you see in the trailer, uh, in the alleyway, he's revving up the engine. And one part of it, they show a, uh, him going 75 miles an hour and the engine shut off, the jet engine. He should be flying a hell of a lot faster than 75 miles an hour. But uh, I'm not going to get into the defects of the the stuff, the continuity errors and all that. Um, but I did, like I said, seeing a great uh, Batman comic movie uh, since there are the Batman uh, detective comics, uh, Batman or Night Falls. I mean, there's several different types of comic books. Same thing with, hate to say it, I mean, I am wearing... <laughs> The Hulk, um, but Spider-Man, there's Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew Garfield, and there's uh, Tom Holland, that they're just different comic book titles, just like the Batman. The Batman has several different titles, and it's the same thing with Superman. Superman has several different titles, too, Action Comics, Superman, uh, Last Son of Krypton, whatever. So just don't hate on a movie. Be, I mean, all these people worked hard uh, giving you a good budget movie. The editor kind of can screw up. The continuity error person can screw up. And also the director definitely can screw up. So if you're going to go see a movie, go see the movie. If you're going to be a critic like I am, which I see a movie as three different people. 
One, as a regular spectator. Two, as a comic book fan. Three, as a movie goer. So, I've worked in the film industry. So, usually the average person and the film critic or the film worker uh, enjoys the films, but sometimes comic books accuracy of the films just go downhill. So, uh, just remember that these people worked hard thousands of hours to make these movies, and by you dumping on them or having shitty ass theories about the movie is not helping anything. Spoiling stuff so people don't go to the movies to support these actors or the studio or the director. I mean, there what was there. There's one movie that was directed by Deadpool. Uh, that was one of the trailers which I'd like to see. Um, then they had uh, a trailer for the Super Pets and uh, Dwayne Johnson as uh, The Rock as Batman, I believe. So, but hopefully it's a good movie. But uh, you got just have to remember that these people work hard to give you these good movies. And if you have your two cents to destroy the movie or whatever, then work in the movie business. I right? put your two cents in, but most of the time, unless you're the director, your two cents doesn't mean crap. Um, unless you really have a camera operator, editor, or script supervisor or something, then they might uh, let you have your two cents. But other than that, thanks for watching this movie review. Uh, please. Quit spoiling stuff right after. The, give it about five days before you start spoiling the movie. Quit kind of clickbait. Jesus Christ. It's the biggest thing I hate about TikTok and YouTube and all these platforms that have to spoil a movie. Um, but thanks for listening to my gripe and uh, my movie review. Uh, see you on the next one. Uh, what's the next one? I think probably my next one might be the Harry Potter movies or something. But uh, check out for that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you at Regal Cinema 20, 40X Movie Theater. And again, uh, Regal definitely has it going with their 40X Theater and uh, the reclining seats, uh, Lazy Boy type deal, and tray tables. Definitely a uh, comfortable way to see a movie. Uh, if you want to be thrown around and ride the movies, go ahead and uh, get on a 40X uh, movie, and you, it's completely 100% awesome to uh, ride the movies, right? Or experience everything that happens on the screen happens to you in a 40X theater. So, again, the video is getting a little way too long, but uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.